This war has now entered upon its first, most critical stage. The result of the few days or the few weeks fighting that now lie before us may determine the history of the whole world and the future of civilization. Germany has committed the last or at least the latest of her hideous crimes in the brutal and cowardly assault upon two neutral nations who had never given her any cause for complaint. Now the whole people of Britain are united in one supreme effort, united behind a government which represents all parties in the state, united with one purpose only in their mind, and that is victory and the destruction of the cruelest, most cowardly, most treacherous enemy that we have ever had to fight in our long history. Many The defeat of the barbarians will be no easy matter. We must expect to suffer. We must be prepared to make great sacrifices. Barbarians love war as much as we hate it. And they have prepared for it during many years when we never suspected that they were thinking of anything but peace. The fruit of those long preparations is seen today. It is seen in the perfection of their organization, in the long laid plans which are now being put into operation. It is seen in the enormous accumulation of armaments that they have been st st storing up through these many years. But one thing is certain, that civilized man is not going to be destroyed by the forces of darkness and of barbarism. However long, The united forces of the British Commonwealth of Nations and those of the great French Republic bound together in indissoluble friendship will not lightly be defeated. They have as their allies the men of all those nations who are already groaning under German tyranny. The men of Austria, of Czechoslovakia, of Poland, of Norway, of Denmark, of Belgium and of Holland, great nations each of whom has contributed to the building up of our modern civilization. So many forces are bound in the end to obtain victory and they will go on fighting until that victory is complete and until their enemy has been so utterly destroyed that never again will he be allowed to disturb the peace of Europe and to threaten the survival of civilization.